Hey guys, it's Jacqueline, and today I thought I would film a little get ready with me type of video. I'm actually going out to a concert later tonight, so I thought you guys might want to see how I do my makeup when I'm going out. So yeah, that's what I'm going to film today. So just to get started, I actually prime my face with the Benefit Professional, and I like to do that especially if I'm going out to like a concert or somewhere where I know I'm going to be like hot and probably jumping around and dancing because I don't want my makeup to like melt off. So for foundation, I'm actually going to use um, two different shades of the Makeup Forever HD foundation. And I'm just mixing them because this guy's too light and this one's a little too dark. So this is the N117 and this is the N128. So I'm just going to do a little bit of both on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to do a little bit of the darker one. Okay, so I'm just going to put this all over my face. And I'm using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to do this. So I'm just going to gently kind of like stipple it all over my face. When I do my foundation, I like to start in the center of my face and then work my way outwards just because I tend to need the most coverage in the center of my face and I don't want to have like a really harsh foundation line. So now that my foundation is all done, I'm just going to go over some areas that need a little bit more coverage. Um, I have a few breakouts right now on my chin and my forehead. So I'm just going to go over those and color correct them with a Dermacolor Concealer in the shade D2. And this concealer is really green based, which is great for canceling out any redness, um, which I tend to get on any breakouts. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that color on my Sigma Precision Flat P80 brush. And I'm just gently going to put those over my breakouts. If you're using any brush to cover any blemishes or breakouts, just make sure that you clean it really well right after you use it because you don't want it to hold any bacteria. I'm just going to blend that out with my finger a bit too. Okay, so that is looking pretty good now. So I am going to go in with some under eye. Oh my gosh, I just dropped my brush. I'm going to go in with a little bit of under eye concealer and just brighten that up. Okay, so I'm just going to use the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, and this is in the shade, oh, this is the one that has it rubbed off. I think it's like light, or light medium, light to fair, I don't know, one of the three. So I'm just going to dot a little bit of this under my eyes there, and I honestly just like to use my finger to blend out concealer under the eye. I also like to use my ring finger when I'm doing this, just because your ring finger is your gentlest finger, and you obviously don't want to be like tugging on your eyes. Okay, so now that my face makeup is pretty much all done, I'm just going to set that with the Makeup Forever HD Translucent Powder. So I'm just going to gently set under my eyes and set my T-zone where I get more oily. I'm not going to do a blush or anything like that because I know when I go out to like a concert, I'm always jumping around and I naturally get really flushed. So I don't need to add any color there, but I am going to do a little bit of a contour just on my cheeks. And this is the Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit in number two. It's really cool because it has like the um, contour and the highlight, but I actually don't really like the highlight. But the contour powder is very nice. So I'm just going to follow my natural cheekbone. Okay, so that is it for the face. I'm going to move on to the eyes now. And I think I forgot my primer. Let me go grab that. I'll be right back. Okay, on my eyes, I'm just going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and this is just the original formula. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger. Okay, cool. So now we can move on to the eyeshadow. I'm actually going to go back in with that contour color that I used earlier on my cheeks, and just buff a little bit of this into the crease just to add a little bit of definition. You don't have to be like really exact with this stuff either. So I'm just going to take my Sigma um, Tapered Blending E40 and just gently blend that into the crease. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my beloved Naked Palette and I'm going to use the colors Hustle, a little bit of Toasted, and Sin. So I actually like to start with the crease when I do my eye makeup. I don't know why, I just always have. So on my MAC 217, I'm just going to put a little bit of that focusing on the outer part of the crease. And did I say I'm using Hustle for this? Oh, 
Okay, and next I'm just going to go in with my MAC 239 brush, take a little bit of that toasted color, and again, just focus that on the outer third of my lid. And then going in with that last color, Sin, I'm going to put that all over the rest of the lid and bring it into the inner corner. And I'm just going to take the big fluffy blending brush again and just blend everything together. Okay, so that's basically all the eyeshadow done, but I'm just going to use a little bit of Brune by MAC, which is just like a satin finish taupey brown color and I'm just going to go in with my MAC 266 angled brush and kind of use this as an eyeliner. I really don't find myself doing eyeliner every day just because I naturally have really short eyelashes so I find it shortens them and makes them look even smaller. So I like to do a little bit of like a hidden lash line with an eyeshadow and just kind of focus that into the outer part of the lash line and it just makes the eyelash look way fuller and way longer which is cool. Okay, so next I'm moving on to mascara, so I'm just going to curl my eyelashes first with my Shu Omera eyelash curler. And next I'm just going to use my Holy Grail mascara, the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express in Waterproof. I'm just going to do a couple coats of that on my upper and one coat on my bottom lashes. Okay, and I just got a little bit of mascara on my eyelid, so you don't have to worry, don't panic, just take a little Q-tip, and once it dries, just kind of flake it off, and you're all good. Okay, so that's what I'm doing for my makeup tonight. I'm actually going to skip out on doing any lipstick or lip gloss or anything like that, just because I know I'm going to be singing a ton, and I'll end up getting lipstick on my teeth or something like that if I end up wearing it. So I'm just going to go with a chapstick. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know if you want to see some more Get Ready With Me style of videos. And I could definitely do some where I show you like how I do my hair and like how I pick out my outfit if you want to see that. But um, I thought today would be kind of boring because I just did my hair how I normally do it. And I actually, I did a tutorial on it a couple months ago um, on how I curl my hair. So I will leave that in the description box below if you are curious. But other than that, I am going to head out now. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye!